Microphone check. <clears throat> one, two, one, two. Microphone check. One, two. Shalom out there. We'll be getting started up momentarily. See how many views we get to come in. And currently my own live stream is not showing up on my channel. Y'all just hold tight here. All right. Just hold tight. Let's see what we got. Still not showing up yet. On my own channel. <laughs> but anyway, shalom to the brothers and sisters out there. Let me actually close this thing out. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, see what we got. All right. <clears throat> we starting up, y'all. Just give me one second here. Share this baby. We on we on. All right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right. Shalom, brothers and sisters out there. All right, pleased to be live with another live stream here. All right, for the uh, hopefully lick to feed the sheep. And I want to say all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And as I said, shalom to you, hopefully lick brothers and sisters out there. All right. And then, you know, this is a live stream. I wanted to be quick, but I don't know how quick it's going to be. This lesson is entitled, We Are Vexed. But so glad Babylon and black culture will die together. All right. And everybody knows, you know, you should know by now, you Israelites out there, that America is Babylon the Great. All right. This place is Babylon the Great. It's going to be destroyed by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shimei, Yahweh, Shai. And we are, you know, your prophets, the Heavenly Father's prophets, should I say, to the, to the nations, but mainly to the Israelites. Okay. Why do I say we prophets unto the nations? Well, let's get a scripture. If a brother will please kindly put up uh, Genesis 35 and verse 10, verses 10 and 11. Genesis 35, verses 10 and 11. I could easily pull it up, but I'll let somebody pull it up. So we prophets unto the nations, but Israel is scattered among all nations. And any other corresponding scriptures brothers got, you can put that up. Now, what I was doing was I was, uh, my original plan was to come home today, go do a workout right and then uh go live i got off work came home got super sleepy tried to take a nap decided i wasn't gonna work out then i decided i wasn't gonna go live then i was sitting here planning the video i was about to make and before i knew it the spirit just came on me suddenly like why don't you just set up the computer right here and just go live all right so here we are and the water you how about you have a shot for putting the spirit on me to go live because you know i've been wanting to go live i mean in my mind you you know you always want to do live streams and do videos and stuff but right here lately my my time has been a little bit different schedule a little bit different haven't had as much opportunity to go live time moving so fast you know you get off work time moving fast got other things going on but lord willing you know the how about shimmy how shy to put the spirit on me again to keep you know go live more like we used to do so anyway just said all that i'm gonna go here and the water brothers for all y'all putting the scripture so this is uh jim s saints of the most high genesis 35 verse 10 and the most high said unto him thy name is jacob thy name shall not be called anymore jacob but israel which when you read it 
Paleo Hebrew, what do we say? Yasharala, right? That's how the word Israel breaks down in Paleo Hebrew, Yashar Allah, which Sha, I'm sorry, which Yah, it means he, which is not the most high's name. His name is Yahweh. The word Yah is he, Shar, S H A R, is prince, right? Which the prince is what? The son of a king. In this case, the heavenly father is the king, and we are his princes or sons. And the word Allah means God, right? It's a translation of the word God, rough translation. So all together, Yasharala, Yasharala, sons of the, of the Most High, princes, you know, he is a prince with the Most High. That's our name. Our name was changed, or Jacob's name was changed from that to Israel. This is who we are. Again, Genesis 35 and 10, and the Most High said to him, thy name is Jacob. Thy name should not be called anymore Jacob, which we, we should say Yaquab. But Yasharala shall be thy name. And he called his name Yasharala. And the Most High said unto him, I am power almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. So guess what? We are not just, and this is one of the mysteries that so many people can't get, but they can't get it because the Heavenly Father doesn't want them to get it. Because they're not of the elect. So people go on pillar and post trying to combat what we teach. You know, saying that we teach in some damnable heresy because we say all nations can't be saved. When the scriptures say that the nations are going to come into the Most High's righteousness or however they say it. Well, those nations are the Israelites. Okay? Those nations are the Israelites. We are a nation and a company of nations. This, this simple teaching, this simple couple of scriptures can go a long way in understanding the New Testament, who the Gentiles are in the New Testament that receive salvation. And we can also get, and I thought a brother would have put it up, Deuteronomy 28, 64. Right? That's why the Lord told us to preach, you know, to the nations, because you have Israelites scattered among every nation. Now, that ain't, that's not the uh, focus of this lesson, but I figured I would, I would start with that. Really, just, you know, just operating through the Spirit. The Spirit just came on me to bring that out, because really my mind is on the vexation that we feel Every day in Babylon the Great, we fucking tired of this place, man. We tired of Babylon the Great. We tired of fucking niggas, you know. And don't get me wrong. We know that the, the, the Puffy, the P. Diddy situation is being used as a distraction to get the minds of the people to pay attention to that. But we paying attention to it, too, but we're not distracted by it. This is signaling something miraculous, something, I won't say miraculous, but it's signaling something great for us. Cause we riding on this, you know. I was I was listening to the Dallas Brothers earlier today, um, on Elder Yashawama's channel, Remnant Saved One Forty Four. They they did a video. Uh, they made a covenant with death. I believe that's the title of it. Y'all gotta go watch. If you haven't seen it, check that video out from Elder Yashawama and the rest of the brothers. Man, <laughs> not only is it edifying, it's hilarious. Um, I, mean, I may even give out the link to it, and we'll get back to the scriptures momentarily. Let me give out the link to that that video. Cause I want y'all to experience my kind of joy. <laughs> I was chuckling the whole the whole lesson at, at what they were saying. The commentary was was on point. And we told you for a long time, Jake, that 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 these motherfucking celebrities was wicked. Here's the link right here. That these are that all your rappers, your celebrities, your movie stars, that all them niggas was faggots. We told you that, and a lot more shit is gonna come out on these people. And Lord willing, the Heavenly Father just destroyed black culture. That's the main avenue in which Jake is being uh, witch, uh, bewitched, desensitized, right? What's the other word? Uh, indoctrinated with wickedness. They're pumping and filtering wickedness into the minds of our people through that fucking hip hop. And here you got niggas, Israelite niggas, trying to bring that into the truth. They've been doing it. They, they, their mannerism is just like it. You got Jake bringing the gang, gang culture. Let's read a few of these scriptures. Salakia. So this, this is uh arrows of indignation. And brother, please tell me what, what state you in, what city. Because I see your videos and I see you out there teaching, but I, I have yet. I don't I don't know where you at. Can you tell me where you are? What state you in? What city you in? You know? And tell me your Hebrew name too, brother. Because I know you, but I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? I would like to know you, you know, because you do good work. Jeremiah 28, verse 8, the prophets that have been before me. And before the old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. And the Lord's going to bring war, evil and pestilence. 
World War Three about ready to explode. We so glad, man. We, we wore out, tired, tired of fucking Babylon the Great, man. All right, brother Obadiah or Abadia should probably be it. Abadia, according to Hebrew, Winston Salem. Okay, okay. What's the Salem? All right, I, yeah, yeah. I, I know roundabout. You know, I've been up through there. When we go to Pennsylvania, we go through. I believe we go through Winston Salem, but yeah, that's up there near the mountains. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, brother, we'll continue on in the faith. You know, and blessings be upon you. So let's keep reading now. Verse five. I'm sorry. This is uh the brother read. Let's let's, let's uh speak on this. So the Most High is going to bring the war. The prophets that came out before in the old days, they talked about all the stuff that we talk about now. You see, war, evil, and pestilence. The Lord is going to bring World War Three eventually. Armageddon, no matter how long it takes. The buildup is happening now, but no matter how long it takes, it is going to come. We believe it. We believe we're the final generation or the final uh, uh, people to see it. You know, we believe we're in that, that, that uh, end of the world phase. And the Lord got everything set up, man. War, evil, and pestilence. More pestilences, more diseases, right? Some more nasty diseases are on the way. And it's going to come because the Heavenly Father decrees it to be thus. Let's go on. GMS Saints of the Most High, Jeremiah 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Right. The Heavenly Father was the one that set us up to be the prophets of, of the Lord. You see? And another brother had it too. Brother uh, Aliyah had it as well. The water brothers were putting those up. So, yeah, so I'm in a vexed mindset, but you do get relief because you can see the end is close. And we're excited, man. That that You can't tell me that P. Diddy shit, even though it's aggravating and it's appalling some of the stuff that we're hearing coming out. But we've been saying that the apostles have been teaching since we came into the truth. The apostles told us about the Boulay Society, right, about the black celebrities, how wicked and nasty they were. But they didn't learn that shit on their own. They got that shit from them damn Amalekites, rubbing elbows with them them big record execs, them white boys, man. You got that shit from Esau, you know? So we've been telling you, and all your celebrities, we told you all your favorites are like that. Den from Denzel to fucking LL to all of them, man, even the ones you can't imagine. You can't imagine. If they didn't do straight up homosexual acts, they did something else to get that success. And you niggas try to deify fucking Tupac. We told you that nigga was a faggot, man. He was on the low. Them niggas is gay, man. Okay? And we don't care who get mad. You can get mad. Tupac wasn't no, he wasn't no man of the Lord. All right? He was just another nigga in the world. Chris Rock told you that. You niggas talk about Tupac was assassinated. <laughs> Biggie was assassinated. He said, nah, them two niggas got shot. And they did. They got shot, man. That's all. And we so excited. We pray, we pray that something, you can feel it. Something big is going to happen here soon. Because they're using this thing as a big distraction for the people. But to us, we just using it to tell you about all them sins them niggas can be committing. They're not innocent. Not a one of them. We ain't praying for them like the Lord told us in uh, Jeremiah. We ain't praying for these niggas. This is arrows of any nation, brother Abadja, Obadiah, Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. See right there, brother. See, preach the gospel to every creature. The Lord love everybody. No, he don't. No, he doesn't. But we preach the gospel. Everybody got fair warning. But only the elect of the Israelites going to be saved. And salvation is only for the elect of the Israelites. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And we know that most High only going to get that special spirit to the Israelites. Let me get a precept. Since the brother brought that one up, let me go real quick to a precept. Let's go here to Isaiah. Let's prove that. Only the Israelites going to get that Holy Spirit of understanding. We know this to be true. Doggone it. Wrong verse, wrong chapter. Isaiah 59. Right? And this is Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed. See? No, you could be a spiritualist. No, nope. you got to be of the seed first. Nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. See, so only Jacob 
is going to get this Holy Spirit. Okay? And that's all it's for. That's all the Lord is dealing with. He's only dealing with the Israelites. And further than that, he's only dealing with the elect on this side. We don't care how mad you other Israelites get. We don't care how mad you niggas get. So what? Black people, all of that. The people of the world doesn't matter to us. We're only concerned with the elect of the house of Israel. That's it. Let's keep going. Same brother, Arrows of Indian Nation, Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom. See, it's the gospel of the kingdom. And in the kingdom, who's going to rule it? The Israelites are going to rule the gospel or they're going to rule the kingdom. First and foremost, our Savior, Yahweh Shai, right? King David and the 144,000 and the rest of the elect. They're going to rule in the kingdom of heaven. And really, the whole kingdom is set up for the house of Israel. And you wicked ass niggas, that's, that's two thirds now. You'll come back. And we know a lot of people can't receive that, but you can't receive it. Why? Because the Lord don't love you on this side. He didn't give you the understanding. So therefore you can't get it, man. You can't get it. And that's not a damnable heresy. If you, uh, it's not a damnable heresy. If you believe in hell, you are of this world because this world teaches that Christianity teaches about an eternal burning place called hell. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Why? Why are we going to preach the gospel in all nations? Here it is right here. This is all. Uh, I'm going to try it again. Not our Kalaya Banya Howder. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee. He's talking to the Israelites. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Now, when you go into the word scatter in the New Testament, it's the Greek word diaspora. And it tells you who it's talking about. Among all people from the one end of the earth, even to the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods. That's why you got to repent. You've been serving other gods. You've been serving idols. You shouldn't have their names in your mouth. You wouldn't, There's no way you're going to worship Jesus before you find out you was an Israelite. Then you find out you was an Israelite. You go right back to Jesus. Why? That's a God your fathers never knew. Right? From the one end of the earth, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So the Israelites are in every place all over the earth, and they must hear the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom. This is our GMS Saints of the Most High, Revelation 1 and 6, and hath made us kings and priests unto the Most High and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. That's right. Absolutely. You see, now I want to give you a scripture here. Let's see here. Let's see, brothers got, yeah. Great scriptures, brothers. Um, This is uh, Isaiah, Allah, Idaho. Ne uh, Nehemiah 1, verse 8. Remember, I beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, if you transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. And we did. We, You can see that in uh, Daniel chapter 9, right? Let me get it. Because the Israelites definitely went under the curses. So what did the Lord do unto us? He scattered us among all nations, right? And if the Israelites went under the curse, that's, e that's easy. That's easy. This, this is Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. It says, yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, as a result, the curse, which is the curses, is poured upon us and the oath that is written in the law of Moses. We're read in the law of Moses. In Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him, and he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. As it is written in the law of Moses, there it is again, all this evil has come upon us, yet may we not our prayer before the Lord our power that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Therefore hath the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, washed upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord, our power is righteous in all his works, which he doeth, for we obeyed not his voice. You see? So he told us in Deuteronomy 28, I believe in 14, or maybe 15, if we don't obey all his commands that all these things, all these curses are going to come upon us. And they came upon us in their perfection, man, in their perfection, right? This is our Karab Yasharalo, 2 Chronicles 15 and 12. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord power of their father with all their heart 
and with all their soul. Where's the other one at? The, the next verse says that whosoever would not seek the Lord's power should be put to death. I wish you would have put that up there, brother. But it's all good, though. Let's see. Let me give you one here. This is brother uh, Jim S. Yahweh Shai's gift from the Atlanta camp Ecclesiastes. And, and by the way, if you haven't watched this brother's video, he did a testimony video, which, you know, kind of got mixed feelings about it. Uh, there was an individual. This brother did a video on this individual from the Atlanta camp that uh, was kicked out. And then he tried to take his own life. I think he jumped out of what a third story window, cracked his head open. That's uh, terrible, man. Terrible. You know. Anyway, Jim S. Howard Shai's gift, Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the doors of music <laughs> shall be brought low. Go right back to that. And that's good, man. The daughters of music are being brought low. Shalom Elder Hawad. I see you in there. Shalawan, brother Yashawan, JMS Bahamas, I see you in there. So yeah, that's good though, man. We we so so excited, right? That the most high is making moves on these. And you gotta think, man, the most high really did something. Cause he hate rappers for some reason. I mean, not for some reason, because these niggas is wicked. But you gotta notice that. I did videos on it, and brothers did videos on it. Over the last few years, what was the video? I can't even remember the count. One year the most high killed what? How many was it? 200 rappers? Then the next year he killed, like, I think one year might have been 150. Then the next year he killed 200. And they're still dying, dropping like flies. Now the Lord is, is, is bringing this music mogul. He's bringing him down, man. And that's a good thing because, we, uh, like I said, the apostles and the elders been told everybody. But what did the other Israelites say? We were being conspiracy theorists. And you niggas stayed on these niggas' tips. And I, I don't want to, you know, no, you know, no ditty. But they stayed saying something positive for these fucking rappers these rappers are, are are pieces of shit man okay and don't get me wrong i got a son that's a rapper and he that's he's all up into it he all he got videos all over youtube he think he's gonna be this big time you know and he, and he can rhyme he can flow he got your flow from dad okay stop stop feeling yourself <laughs> i always said he got your flow from dad nigga anyway you know let's keep it moving i want to get into that i might start crying over this joint because you know you you want to see your children do right but hey, this is this truth is for the elect, man. I I pray we all make it. And then on the back end, maybe the Lord will cut me a break and let this little nigga get the truth. But who knows, man? You can't tell. I mean, the nigga won't call unless he wants something. And even then, anyway, uh, this is uh not R Kalaya, and I say your name every time, brother. Forgive me. Bon Yasharala, second Ezra 15 and 6. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works were fulfilled. And we, man, we can't wait till the Lord get rid of this shit. Babylon the Great is a used rubber, okay? It's a used rubber. It's a whore, as described in the scriptures. And we want the most how to get rid of this fucking place, man. We want them to get rid of it. I see Elder Hawaii got the script. Let's go over there and read it now. I got it. I've been holding it here for a minute. Because we are vexed, but we are also glad, also happy that the most high is going to destroy Babylon the Great and black culture with it. This is Second Peter chapter 2 verse 6 it says and turning the cities of sodom and gomorrah into ashes condemned them with an overthrow making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly <laughs> excuse me so we know what the most High did to sodom and gomorrah it was an example of what not to be of how not to live right it goes on and we know that to be so now when we go here um verse 7 and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked it's been a minute since i went through this so the most high delivered lot who was a just man when you go into this word just right here let's do it now first the word vexed what does it mean let's click on it it's the in the greek katapaneo so let's let's play it strong's g 2669 katapaneo katapaneo Right, so Lot was vexed. It says to tire, to tire down with toil, exhaust with labor, to afflict or oppress with evils. Do we not all feel afflicted and oppressed with evils that we see from day to day? To make trouble for, to treat roughly, right here, to labor down, i.e. wear with toil, oppress, vex. So we all been, uh, been worn down 
these evils are working our nerves. You know, you, your mama said, when you work about nerves, boy, these evils are working our damn nerves, just like with our ancestor lot. Now it goes on, it says, um, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, right? Hold on here. All right. Back in verse six, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example to those that after should live ungodly and delivered just Lot. Lot was a just man. Let's look at it. The word just is dikaios in the Greek. And this is what it says about his justness. It says righteous, observing divine laws. Now, when a member of IUIC will pop up, we won't keep in God's laws. Meanwhile, your head is lined up. You got dreadlocks down your damn back. You're having sex on the Sabbath. Your beard is lined up. Lying niggas, just because you wear fringes and you and you don't eat pork don't mean you're keeping the law. Anyway, righteous, observing divine laws, in a wide sense, upright, righteous, virtuous, keeping the commands of the Most High. See, so this is where Lot was. He was an upright man. Here in verse 2, innocent, faultless, guiltless, used of him whose way of thinking, feeling, and acting is wholly conformed. He was completely conformed to the will of the Most High. And acting is wholly conformed to the will of the Most High, and who therefore needs no rectification in the heart or life. Approved of or acceptable of the Most High. See that? So that's where Lot was. Equitable, by implication, innocent. It says here, equitable in character or act, by implication, innocent, holy, absolutely or relatively, just, meet, righteous. And didn't John the Baptist say, bring therefore fruits, meet? For repentance, that's one of Apostle Gabar's favorite sayings to say, right? So that's what Lot was. It says, and delivered just Lot, who was a, he was a just man, vexed. He was greatly afflicted from the evils with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You see, and we in that we in that same lot right now. We are vexed day to day with the unlawful deeds of Babylon the Great. This is why we celebrate. Don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, there's a greater part of us or a small part of us that sees a so-called black man suffering. And we see you've been made the scapegoat. But that's why we preach repentance under you. We innocent, did he? We tried to tell your ass to repent. We told Biggie. We told Tupac. We told, you know, all the rappers. We The message of the Lord went out and we told you niggas to repent. That you can't trust this fucking devil. Now they're going to make you the scapegoat. Take all your damn money. They got you on racketeering charge. They're going to take all your damn money. Your whole empire is going to crumble. And they're going to pin the stink on you. And then other rappers going to get the blame. Whoever whoever they, you know, uh, uh, expose next. Whether it's Jay-Z or Usher. We hear about all kind of nasty shit from these dudes, man. Rick Ross. You know. Uh, Khaled. All these dudes. These dudes is a bunch of demons that worship demons. This is uh, Jim S. North Carolina, Elder Hawaii, Proverbs 3 and 3, 3 and 31, excuse me. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You're so busy trying to be like Esau. You want to be in that world. You want to be accepted by this devil. And you bowed down and you took that money. You visited the director's couch, right? You either ate a piece of poop, you drunk some blood, you sacrificed some people. You know, some of you did all of it, man. You can't be successful in this devil's world without selling out. When we talk about it, the entertainment world, and and a lot of times in the other parts of his world too, that's how we know that five hundred one c three, that thing ain't going nowhere, man. We told you that, Bishop Nate I U I C. You can't win. This devil got you locked up and sold up, and any the rest of you out there to trust these motherfuckers, you're gonna get the same fate. We vexed. You know, we grit our teeth and we, you know, at this place. We tired of the fucking black culture, the black women. Let me play you a video to piss you off so we can, we can be vexed together. I got this one right here from the brother. Uh, I hope I'm saying the brother's name right. Jim S. Kansas City, Mahalia. I'm going to play you the intro from his video that I saw today. Now, some nigga going to say, oh, this is just a skit, brother. Fuck you. I don't think it's a skit. I think these niggas be serious when they do shit like this. So Jim S. Kansas City, Jim S. Kansas City Prophets 3 put up a video. You ninjas are a disgrace unto the Lord. Now, there's an intro here. I want you to listen to this, this crack baby. 
this this negro this negro meat sock listen to what this nigga says listen in why am i dl because if i don't admit that i'm gay then i can still sleep with multiple women and don't have to deal with some of the negative implications that come with being a homosexual male why do i sleep with so many women because i'm overcompensating for my fear of my own sexuality plus it's easier to just continue the toxic lifestyle than it is to go back on decades of unresolved trauma that I've inflicted on women. Why am I always into it with my baby mama? Because I resent the fact that she's not a man. I've got a crush on my homies, and she's always trying to get me to not hang out with them. That would get on your nerves, too. Why don't I just be honest with the people in my life? Because that would make me an accountable man, and that's just not what I am. I want to have my cake, eat it, too, and sometimes get mine smashed as well. Stop getting into it with females all the time. No, I'm a misogynist DL man. I can't stand women. That's why I hang out with the homies all day. That's who I'm attracted to. So why would I be able to get along with a woman, especially one that respects themselves? I'm gonna run it back. <clears throat> Let you hear it again. So this little fruity, this fruity nigga here is talking about being DL, right? Being on the down low. Listen again. Why am I DL? Because if I don't admit that I'm gay, then I can still sleep with multiple women and don't have to deal with some of the negative implications that come with. So he said, why don't I admit that I'm gay? I'm on the DL because he can still sleep with multiple women and not have to deal with the consequences of admitting that he's gay. <laughs> wicked, man. Wicked. Listen again. Why am I DL? Because. If I don't admit that I'm gay, then I can still sleep with multiple women and don't have to deal with some of the negative implications that come with being a homosexual male. Why do I sleep with so many women? Because I'm overcompensating for my fear of my own sexuality. Plus, it's easier to just continue the toxic lifestyle than it is to go back on decades of unresolved trauma that I've inflicted on women. Why am I always into it with my baby mama? Because I resent the fact that she's not a man. I've got a crush on my homies and she's always trying to get me to not hang out with them. That would get on your nerves too. Why don't I just be honest with the people in my life? Because that would make me an accountable man. And that's just not what I am. I want to have my cake, eat it too, and sometimes get mine smashed as well. Stop getting into it with females all the time. No, I'm a misogynist DL man. I can't stand women. That's why I hang out with the homies all day. That's who I'm attracted to. So why would I be able to get along with a woman, especially one that respects themselves? And all you had to do really was look at the hair. <laughs> you told that nigga there was a film bot. God damn, Jake. You low. And that's nasty. And it's dangerous, too. As you know, this nigga double dipping. He put his, here it is, this nigga dip a nugget into the sauce and bite it and then put it back in there with his, with his, his saliva on the nugget. He double dipping, man. That's why a lot of women, you know, that, that disease is going around because why? This nigga... He he being a homosexual sleeping with, with dudes and he get that disease that they get. Y'all know what it is. Don't put it on the comment board. And then he go and be with women. See, that's confusion, man. That's straight up confusion. Number one, it's abomination. And then you go and be with women and you stupid ass women. You'll see a nigga like that and won't call him out. You see them feminine traits. No man should have his hat on his back. So he got his hair in the scrunchie. His hair is in a in a man bun. And you find him attractive and you're stupid ass. So you can walk around outside with no shirt on in public. That's why the Lord got to burn this place, man. We got to burn this bitch. And this black culture, we can't wait till the Lord get rid of this shit, man. We tired of it. We tired of it. We tired of you. We tired of Babylon the Great. We tired of Esau. And Babylon the Great and black culture is going to burn together. I just got a, a, you know, Spirit just gave me a precept. Let's get it up here real quick if we can. And no puns intended, right? When I say let's get it up here real quick. So let's get it precept if we can here. So I want to get real quick. Revelation, I think it's 20. Revelation 20 and verse, is it 10? It's not 10. <clears throat> Just bear with me here. I'm going to bring it up. Revelation 20 and in verse 14. It says, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, right? The conditions of death or being able to die, the conditions of hell, 
are going to be left here in Babylon the Great to burn. Okay. That's the second death. When the nuclear warheads hit Babylon the Great and this place is destroyed, we're going to be free from these, these uh, uh, chains of darkness, which these these mortal bodies. We're going to be free from them. Death will stay here in Babylon the Great, figuratively. In the conditions of hell, these curses are going to be taken off of us. So that condition where that we're in now, we're going to be free from that. We're going to be immortals. And you got a lot of jakes who claim they're in the truth. You can't even grasp that. Niggas think you're going to get on planes and boats and you're going to get gold. You're going to go on this exodus. You're going to send text messages to the other Israelites around in America. Y'all going to decide where y'all going to go. Then you go it's like, it's up to you. You know, think, think you let you read that in the book of Jasher. It's going to be a second exodus. See, we gonna all get together. We're going to change out. We're going to get a change of address forms. <laughs> We're going to get our addresses changed. We're going to get all our mail sent to Israel. What are you fucking talking about, Jake? We're going up. The Lord will get us out of this place. He's gonna, but first, he's gonna burn and destroy our enemies, both the two thirds and the nations. He's gonna get rid of them, man. And ain't no help for a nigga like that. And I put the link on the comment board for anybody who's interested. This is Jim S. North Carolina, Jeremiah eleven and eleven. Therefore, thus said the Lord: Behold, I will bring evil upon them. Talking about these Israelites, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. The Lord ain't gonna hearken unto you. Verse 14, therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. The Lord ain't going to help you, Jake. You're getting the help. He sent out prophets. Do you know what kind of a big deal that is? The Heavenly Father decreed he's going to destroy Babylon the Great. He's going to bring complete hell on, on the world and on society. But angels go tell, get get put the spirit on my men to preach the word so that my people don't get destroyed and caught up in iniquity. And what do you do? You go on TikTok and you make your stupid videos, right? You mock, you talk shit, you make your parodies. You come against everything that we say. That's why the Lord going to fuck you up, man. And you know, and I'm sorry, my language, it's just got to be like that. Ain't no, how I'm going to say it. When the Lord's going to, he's going to spank your bottom. The Lord is going to put you in time out. No, the Lord going to fuck you up, man. He's going to bring plagues darkness missiles it's gonna be uh all kind of shit going on down here before it's over with you're gonna see beasts wild beasts newly created beasts swords breaking out on people's hands from taking a damn chip you're gonna try to you're gonna try to backdoor the lord at the last man i'm gonna take the chip mr Esau. you ain't gonna trust the lord you're gonna you're gonna trust the white man to feed you and for that you're gonna get a a, a noisome grievous sore on your fucking hand that's why these israelites are telling you that the mark of the beast is sin stupidly might we add sin been around since the beginning of time the mark of the beast is the end time prophecy hello is this on hello you get it no you don't get it because you're too goddamn busy with rap lyrics in your damn mouth trying to be like the world man trying to be like the world okay let's get back to more scriptures so lock your brothers there's so many great scriptures on this comment board i thought i was gonna be able to get in here and get out quick but i see now that that was just a dream this is jim s saints the most high John 3, verse 18, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. If you don't believe this word that we're teaching, you will die in your sins. You don't believe the name, the true name, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you will die in your sins. And even if you do call on it, but your ass ain't right, you ain't, you ain't got the right intent, you will die in your sins and you're going to be destroyed. But because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten, son of the most high that's right and we got the right name it ain't whatever name you decide whatever you thought up no it's an exact right name can we please give brothers john 17 verse 6 very important scripture john 17 verse 6 for everybody that's opening your your nigga mouth talking about we ain't gonna get the name till we in the kingdom you, you sound like a fool and the comment board is stacked with scriptures i'm way behind let's read this in front of brother jim s Yahweh's gift Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it. What about the rest of the people? The rest were blinded. There you go. They can't all get it. Big Mama can't get it. Nana can't get it. Pop Pop can't get it. Aunt Frida, your favorite cousin, Ray Ray, he can't get it. So, like, I know a couple of brothers in the truth named Ray. I ain't talking about y'all. <laughs> Two brothers named that that I could think of right off the top. See? So this is just for the elect. That's all. It's a message for the elect. It's only for us. 
we're excited that the Most High is exposing this guy, did it? Do we feel a little sorry for him because he's one of our nation? Uh, a little bit. I, I have a hard time framing my mouth. I think it's a shame. I don't feel sorry for that nigga, but I think it's a shame, you know, because it didn't have to be this way. You don't have to die, but you don't want to listen, man. You're hard-headed as shit. You hurt a lot of people, and it's it's worse shit. That little shit that they, like the Dallas Bros was bringing out. The little shit that they telling us about, them damn thousand bottles of baby oil and them 700 and something dildos they found this nigga house. That's that's lightweight shit that they can tell us about. They ain't going to tell us they found maybe pentagrams and dungeons, you know what I'm saying, with chains and shit in there, penises, uh, that and, you know, 500 penises <laughs> cut up and put in jars, you know, testicles put in, in, in uh, formaldehyde inside of jars, you know. I ain't saying they said that, but it's just like other shit they ain't going to really tell us. You know what I mean? This is Jim S. North Carolina uh, 777, Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. This is our job. We do it in the spirit by teaching the word of truth. The angels are the one that's opening your minds up. The Holy Spirit is conducted by the angels via Yahweh Shai. They come, they open your mind up, right? And they let you see, yeah, these brothers are telling the truth. They got this the right name. Let me tell y'all something. I thought about this the other day, and I'm sure other brothers felt like this. I remember thinking back. I was thinking about it the other day. The Spirit brought it back to my remembrance. I remember the first time. Well, I can't say I remember the exact first time, but I know that. When I started watching the apostles when they was on 34 teaching back 15 years ago, when I came across their videos, when I came across their videos probably 17 years ago, I only been teaching 15 years, but I started learning before that. So probably around about 2007, when I saw them teaching on the highways and hedges, the first time I heard them say the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, it seemed familiar to me. It seemed really familiar to me. Like I, it felt like that. I knew right then, like what what that name they saying. And I never had a doubt that was the true name of the Heavenly Father. Just through the Spirit. I never had a doubt that that was the true name. And I had many dreams to confirm that. And I told brothers about, right? I had the one dream one time, and I, I'll tell it again now. It was real quick. I was somewhere, and I see in the distance this man, just dirty. He was almost like he was all shadows. He was coming towards me. And I knew in the dream, this dude is coming to try to do something to me, right? And I would say, yeah, how about Hashimi? How was shy? He was walking towards me. He was getting close, and every time I said the name, it would knock him back. I said, yeah, how about Shimi how was shot? He would knock him back. He was getting closer and closer. Then when he got close to me, he had this long tongue that came out. It was covered in hair. His long tongue came out. He was coming to me, and, I, and, and as I tried to say the name, it's like, I was like, he did a spell on my tongue. I was like, yeah, how about Shimi how I couldn't really say the name of the Lord, right? And at the last minute, right before he got on me, I said, yeah, how about Shimi how was shot like that? Then I put my hands like that. On his neck, and when I touched him, he disintegrated. No, he just disintegrated. I remember that dream very vividly. And I said all that to say when I when I go back in my mind, when I heard the apostles, I think it was Apostle Gabar first one I probably heard say it. They was on the highways and hedges, and I they would say you how about me how was shot, and I was trying to I couldn't really I was like what's that name, but it it felt very familiar to me. It was comforting and relaxing, right? And I had other dreams like that too. Just wanted to say that. <clears throat> anyway, back to the matter of hand. So, you know, these, this is a very demonic spirit right now, Babylon the Great, on these entertainers, on these rappers, these celebrities, these movie stars, right? These politicians. And don't forget, T.D. Jakes was in there, too. T.D. Jakes was in there. He ain't the only one, man. There are going to be others. I bet you Jamal Bryant was somewhere around there. It's all good. The Lord is going to expose these niggas. And if that dude wind up dead, hey, it is what it is. Ain't nothing we can do for him. We doing our part. We help. We showing more love to our people than anybody. We preaching this gospel. We doing these lessons. We giving out these messages every day, round the clock. Notice that. That's the spirit of the Lord doing that. It ain't us. <laughs> like Denzel said, this shit is chess. It ain't checkers. <laughs> this is Isaiah Allah, Idaho. This is Zechariah 7 and 11. It says, but they refused to hearken. And pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent unto in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath 
from the Lord of hosts. And that's what Jay gonna keep. Jay gonna keep ignoring and keep on doing what you want to do. Keep on trying to prosper. Keep trying to you know, just get money. You gonna keep doing that till the money go cashes. And then the Lord gonna leave your ass up shit creek without a paddle. Verse 13. Therefore, it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear. So they cry and I would not hear, said the Lord of hosts. That's what's going to happen. The Lord has got us crying in the streets and the highways, the hedges, telling you to repent. And you just act, you make a video. Now you make, first you was ignoring us. Now you're making videos about us talking shit. Like I've been saying in the videos that I've been doing. We are able to see in real time, Jacob, the most High is communicating with you, Jacob, through men. And you answering back to the Lord with uh, mockery with disrespect, with deceit, and some of you making up stuff about us. You saying that we violating people's space? We ain't violating nobody's space. You coming up on us. This is Brother Amraya, Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. Who the meek of the earth, brother? Anybody can be meek, which have wrought his judgment. What's the judgment? The curses. That's talking about Israelites. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be you shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. That's our whole focus. We pray we hid in the day of the Lord's anger. We pray we hid in the day. Okay. Of the Lord's anger. Okay. The brother said he had took it off. But his brother got a Kawam award, Second Chronicles 15, 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, power of Israel should be put to death. Whether it's small or great, whether man or woman. So Jake can't say, well, man, I, I, I know y'all brothers telling the truth. But I'm going to choose my own path. See, I still worship God, but I also like, you know, I like to read about the Nephilim. I like to go over here and read the Quran a little bit. No, you're going to see the Lord power of hosts, the Lord God of Israel, or you're going to die. That's what's going to happen to you, man. Ain't no alternate path. Ain't no other way around. You can't seek the Lord another way. Okay, 250 rappers. I was, we was keeping track. One year, 200. Next year, 250. Now the Lord just open season on these niggas, doming them, taking them out. Why you think he doing that, man? Why you think he doing that? You think the Lord is please? No other, no other group, no other music group. Then he ain't killing two hundred fifty country music stars, two hundred R and B stars. Even though some of them niggas get mixed up in it too, he didn't kill two hundred rock and roll, heavy metal, two hundred jazz music. He killed two hundred rappers. One year, 250 the next year, 450 inside of two years. That's what the Lord of hosts did. He killed them in terrible various ways. Some was Jake Draco, the ruler, got stabbed in the neck. He bled out. Mo three on the way home from somewhere. He got chased on the highway in his own hometown, Dallas. Chased him, shot him up. Young Dolph shot 22 times in his own town, Memphis, Tennessee, getting some cookies from his favorite cookie shop. Right? Uh, Nipsey Hussle shot dead at his own damn store. You see? Different stuff is happening to these guys. You had other ones too. Dying in car wrecks, plane crashes, taking drugs. That guy, um, Juice World, took a bunch of pills trying to hide them, wound up overdosing and, and dying. Crazy, man. Uh, Triple H to riding in his new, his new whip, shot up in the car. I seen the death video. He's in the car dead. He's all shriveled up. Shot in the dome, driving a new car, twenty thousand. He had twenty or forty thousand dollars cash on him. Damn. Dark matter, you howled up. Amos five twenty three. Take away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. We know, we know this was written back in the old days. We know that, but it doesn't it doesn't not pertain to now. You think the Lord is listening to rappers? You think he listened to anything they got to say? Hell no. Lord dropping these niggas, man. <laughs> That's right. Same brother. But let judgment, Amos 5, 24, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. That's what the Lord going to do, man. That's what the Lord going to do. Great scriptures, brothers. I got to try to let me get down here. Read some of these from these brothers I have not read from. This is Karab Yasharala. Colossians 3.23, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that the Lord, let of the Lord, ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord, Hamashiach. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, 
and there is no respect of persons. Money can't get you out of this. You can't use extortion and leverage a videotape, tape somebody doing something something nasty, and then use it for leverage against them. You can't do you can't get, get out of this. You gotta be coming the right way in order to get out of it. First and foremost, you gotta be of the elect. But if you're of the elect, the Lord will put the proper spirit on you to walk in his ways. Okay. And please forgive me, brothers. I gotta, you know, I'm not ignoring these scriptures, but I gotta get down to the bottom. That's right. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Shalom, brother. Jim S. Truth is fierce. Jake think everything is a goddamn skit. As if nothing is real. Some hey, these niggas on social media, if you put the video up there. Whether it's a skit or not, it's in your mind or something. And there's somebody out there that thinks like that. These download nasty ass niggas, man. The Lord's gonna kill them. And they, and you you women, you gotta wise up. That's why you should be seeking men that are in the truth. You know, men of understanding, men of truth, men of the Lord is what you should be seeking. But you don't. What do you do? You choose niggas from the world. So therefore, you're gonna get niggas from the world and all their nigga things. This is our dark matter, Yahweh. Romans 118 for the wrath of the most high is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness, all of it. And again, and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. That's right. <laughs> His brother said switching and shit. And that dude was switching. He was he was super fruity. And the Bible condemns homosexuality. For the people that watch us, they got a problem, well, you know, God, God don't like ugly. That in the Bible. Type it in. God don't like ugly. Type that in and see if it comes up. The devil is a lie. Type that in and see if it comes up. It doesn't. Neither one of those. The devil is a liar. Right? Well, you know what? I take that back because that's a that's a false saying because Satan, he is a deceiver, but he don't commit sins. He's an angel. You commit the sin. You tell the lies. The devil that tell lies is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. A lot of y'all can't get this. You mean to tell me the devil is a man? Come on, man. The devil ain't no white man. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's why you got your hair in a damn ponytail. Because he lied to you, man. <laughs> he lied to you. Got you thinking that it's all good. You NFL niggas tired of looking at you too, man. So I'm going to read the scripture here real quick, if I, if I may. I got to go back here. So while we see these things going on in the world, we got to be in this world, but we ain't of it. This is John 17, verse 15. It says, and I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. That's our focus. We're trying to remain away from the evil. Sure, we got to live in this world. Sure, we got to work, go out. We be among the people, right? But we ain't, we ain't nothing like them. Kendra Lamar was right. They not like us. We ain't like you. We ain't nothing like Kendra Lamar. And Kendra Lamar, he, he, you know, a lot of people like that dude and him and Drake and all that. You like them guys. And don't get me wrong. I play their music. I play their beats. I think they got clever lines and all of that, but at the end of the day, that's just a little, a little bit of entertainment, man. We ain't nothing like these guys, though, and they're not like us. Not No pun intended. We're not alike. We're of a different sort. This is your Gabar, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Be not deceived. Don't fool yourselves. Neither fornication, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, and that dude did is effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners. We went over that in, in camp and in the lesson last week. That dude is guilty of extortion. He's guilty of almost every sin in this. Nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. And that dude was a big time extortioner. He used, you know, advantages over people to make them do what he wanted them to do. Right, he was keeping holding back money from people. He was doing. I mean, he broke all that dude probably broke every law in the Bible. It's no wonder the Most High messing his ass up. And it is what it is. And whether that's him or not, whether they they replaced him because it don't really look like him. Whether they replace, see, Jake think they deep when you start. Man, maybe that dude the clone. He ain't really him. Well, let's say that it's not him. Now what? What do we do now, Mister Deep? Same message. You still got to repent, nigga. The Lord going to still destroy him if he ain't dead already. If he's on an island someplace, he's going to burn. Eventually, the Lord going to get his ass, man. He going to get him. Basic wisdom. Romans 8, 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit, even we. And I hope he got more here. 
Um, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Man, we waiting, we waiting patiently and impatiently at the same time. The water, brother. Shalom out the basic wisdom. All right. Yeah. So we waiting for the redemption of our of these bodies, of our souls. Get rid of these bodies. We want to share this place. Shalom. Right. Uh Yahweh, Jim S. Hawaii. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power of thy God. I will also forget thy children. And didn't the Lord do that? Everything that he promised was going to happen has happened to us, happened to our people. But guess what? He gave us a way out. And brothers gave me that scripture. And I, I'll read it now. And it was way back, a few minutes back. But, hey, it's all good in the spirit. Jim S. Hawaii, Ba, and all you rest of you brothers. Very important scripture that we talked about. The same God that can give us the truth, the, whole, the same Holy Spirit that can give us the truth, gave us his name. This is it. John 17 and 6, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Who did the Most High give Yahweh Shah out of the world? The elect. So the elect know the name. If you saying you don't have the name of the Lord, well, that's good. That's well and good. Did you just admit it? You wasn't of the elect. Bishop Nate, you just admitted it. Your car, any man coming to you telling you don't know the name of the Lord, he's telling you he's not of the elect. And that's good. That's a good thing. Goodbye. Get away from us. Stay away from us. Don't come around us. We don't want to be bothered with you, Jake. Great scriptures on the comment board, brothers. I can't even keep up. I'm way behind. But it's all good, though. Great stuff. Lord willing, the brothers and sisters out there, they're, um, you know, they see these, they're reading them, right? They're being fed very well. <clears throat> I want to read this is basic wisdom. Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Uh, a plea for repentance, not a plea, a call for repentance. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. When you're tarrying, you're waiting around. You're wasting time, right? You are uh, procrastinating. And that's our people. They love to wait till it's too damn late. Stow about the clothes. If I close in two minutes, your ass come. I you want one of these. I need one of them. Let me get a bottle of that. A bottle. Get your ass out of the store, man. Two minutes. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Why? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And see, the way it's going to play out is all this prophesying, all these lessons, all this, uh, you know, pleading from us in the spirit telling you to repent. It's going to stop. And then all and then to you. It's going to feel like sudden happened suddenly. Something came out of nowhere. We've been telling you about it the whole time. This thing with this, these rappers and Diddy and all this shit. We've been telling you about this stuff a long time. We told you all your favorites was faggots. You told us we were crazy. We were jealous. We are jealous. Y'all you, 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 ain't got no money. Y'all jealous. Okay. Now what? Now look. And there's more going to come out. And, and the females ain't no different. They lesbians. They bushes. They dykes. Missy Elliott. Right, what's the name? Uh, 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 Queen Latifah, MC Light. All oh, they all, you know, even if they got husbands, so what? They munching down on women, and they getting munched on. Even that one got the song "You a Munch." Her too. Girl with the orange afro. What's her name? Ice Spice. A little ugly self. And they getting ugly and more weird. All of them wicked. They're all wicked, and they played the game to get in the position they're in. You do you really think? Out of all the Israelites on the planet, they the only ones can rap or dance or sing or dunk a ball or run a touchdown. Is that what you think? Some of us was legendary, had great speed, could jump high, run fast, lift niggas and slam niggas and make write songs and make beats. Got brothers in the truth that can do that. But the Lord didn't choose us for that. He chose us for this, right? And we so, oh, so glad. What's the title? We are vexed, but so glad Babylon and black culture would die together. You know, and I mean, I just want to bring, bring a few thoughts out. I can't even get it all out that I want to say. This person says, you know, they just indicted the mayor of New York. OK, well, that's good news. Good news. People are going to really turn on us when they see that when bad things happen. Right. 
when bad things happen and we celebrate, they're going to they gonna think we assholes, but we don't care. <laughs> we going to pop bottles like y'all do now in our face. We going to pop bottles when, when niggas die, when a building collapses and thousands of motherfuckers die. We're going to be so glad. But we, we may say, you know, out front, we sorry, but deep down, the greater part of us is going to be happy. We're going to be excited. Just like we are now with these, with these, these and all these celebrities, they scared as shit, man. But you should be because you did a lot of wickedness. And what I want to say about that dude, Diddy, man, the more people talk about it, the more it comes out. Like he was doing shit out in the open, like among, like say we, it's 20 of us in a room together, we having dinner. This nigga would do nasty shit out in the open in front of 20 people. If I'm going to do some dirt, I ain't going to do it in front of people openly, man. You got to be a special kind of proud demon. To do your most secretive, nasty shit in the eyes of others and record it. What's wrong with you? I would do some shit, but I ain't going to record the shit. That way, if anybody ever said I said it, it didn't happen. <laughs> like Eminem said, I just say it ain't mine. <laughs> I just say it ain't mine. I was never there. What you talking about? I didn't do that shit. Shady did. This brother, Amraya Mo3, was killed by a man called a gay shooter. I wonder why. I wonder why he probably was mad at him. It probably that probably was a love triangle or relationship that went soft, went south. Excuse me. Good lord, man. And I don't even know who this guy Bank Road Fresh got 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 in his own home in his hometown. And see, that's the thing, man. Boosie told niggas, and not that I'm a Boosie fan. I kind of like Boosie. I think he's an all right guy. I don't like his music, you know. But he's 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 kind of funny. But the Lord, you on the clock, Boosie. You you shot the most high the bird. You talk shit, right? The Lord don't like that, man. You your your time is running out, okay? Right along the rest of them people. But he had a good thought when he said that if you make it out of the hood, don't go back. What are you going back for? Crabs in a barrel, or however that saying goes. You can't go back, man. Don't go back. That's what most of the rappers wind up down in their own neighborhood. Where they came from, man. So let's see here, brothers. Before we go, I got a few few more scriptures here that I want to bring out. So we read this one. I want to go backwards if I can. And I want to bring up this second Peter again. And I want to read it to you from the NLT. Let me get it again. I'll bring it up. <clears throat> so this is Second Peter chapter two, verse six. Let's change this over. Hold on here. To the NLT. To that, that energy that I had, it, it burned off. Come on, baby. Why you won't do it? There it is. All right, so this is Second Peter 2 and 6 from the NLT. And it says, I'm going to start at verse 5. It says that the Most High did not spare the ancient world, except for Noah and the seven others in his family. Noah warned the world of the Most High's righteous judgment. So the Most High protected Noah when he destroyed the world of ungodly people with a vast flood. Same thing like now, Lord willing, right? The Most High is, is, is warning people through his servants, the prophets, which Noah was of the elect. And we pray, we know that the Most High's prophets are of the elect. Let's say it that way. Later, the Most High condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and turned them into heaps of ashes. He made them an example of what will happen to ungodly people. But the Most High also rescued Lot out of Sodom because he was a righteous man who was sick of the shameful immorality of the wicked people around him. Yes, Lot was a righteous man who was tormented in his soul by the wickedness he saw and heard day after day. Just like us now, we are tormented, vexed by this wicked shit we see going on. That's why when we get a break in it and all you damn celebrities, and then we're going to feel a similar feeling when all the money goes bye-bye. When it's a cashless society and people worry about, oh, my millions, my billions, we're going to be so damn glad. <laughs> you just like us now. And in that day when there's no more money, when there's no, you know, you can't, you know, be lauded and praised for the amount, for the amount of riches you have that you can show physically, then you're going to want the other thing that's valuable, the hidden riches in secret places, but you ain't going to have it. That's only for the elect. Hidden riches and secret places is only for the elect. Let's prove it. Isaiah. Like the scriptures say, riches are not comely for a niggard. Isaiah 
Isaiah 45, verse 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name and the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. And this elect, which is Jacob, it's really talking about the elect of Jacob, not all Jacob, because Jacob get proud on your ass. You Israelite, brother, all Israelite gonna be saved. No, you're not. Not so fast. You've been doing a lot of wickedness. You've been doing a lot of wickedness. And we didn't forget about you wicked Israelites are trying to undo the truth. You got 50, 50 verses that GMS got wrong. Yeah, okay. Somebody that's not of the elect would say that the elect is wrong. Don't forget that, brothers out there. Don't be swayed by that, because a lot of you... But see, that's a good stumbling block that the Most High sent through them G -G -G Genesis Israelites and the Sakari, them the rebellious Israelites. That's a good stumbling block because a lot of you sit on the, you sit in between. I don't know, do, 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 do GMS or Sakari. I don't know. They got, you know, they got a good point. GMS, Sakari, them got you. Okay, good. Go on over there with them because soon the door is going to close where your ass won't be able to go back and forth. You're going to be stuck wherever you at. And we can't wait for that time to come. Good. Stay on over there with them. Stay with the reprobates. That's what you need to be. That's what you need to be. And there's no mistakes with you. How about Shimmy? I was shy, right? Yo, the brother said it, man. You get so happy when judgment comes. This nigga here is super proud. Public. I'm gonna be I'm gonna do wicked shit. I'm gonna do it openly in front of other people. There's no way. There's no way I would do that shit, man. No way. This is GMS Holland. Hollow be thy name. Jeremiah 422. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Right? Wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. That's Jake. That's Jake. GMS North Carolina. Proverbs 11 and 4. Pr riches profit not in the day of wrath. But righteousness delivereth from death. Right. Jake thinks you're going to take your riches with you or that's going to help you some kind of way. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. Riches profit, not in the day of wrath. I got something else here. I want to go here and let's read uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Just want to make a quick comment on this. When, uh, Enoch was saved or, or delivered, beamed up by the Heavenly Father. Let's read about it now. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4. And we'll jump in here at, uh, let's start at verse 9. It says, but wisdom is the gray hair unto men, and an unspotted life is old age. He pleased the Most High and was beloved of him. Talk about Enoch. So that living amongst sinners, he was translated. He was beamed up into a cherry. He was translated. He was changed from this, this existence into the heavenly existence or into the uh, eternal life existence, right? So that living amongst sinners, he was translated or beamed up. Yes, yeah, speedily he was taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. For the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest, and the wandering of concupiscence doth undermine the simple mind. He being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time. For his soul pleased the Lord, therefore hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. Right, the Lord heard him and got him out of there, so he wouldn't be beguiled with wickedness. He wouldn't become like the people. This the people saw and understood it not, Neither lay they up this in their minds that his grace and mercy is with his saints and that he has respect unto his chosen. You see, so that's what the Lord did for Enoch. He got him out of there. He beamed him up. And we pray and the Lord do the same thing for us. We pray and he beam us up out of here, man. We don't want to die with the wicked. We do not want to die with the wicked. So let's try to bring this up in the Good News Translation. I can't remember what, what even verse that was now. Just hold on, y'all. It was Wisdom of Solomon. <clears throat> Just bear with me here momentarily. <clears throat> I 
All right. Wisdom of Solomon 14. I'm going to go around about verse 7. And this is what it says. Um, Wisdom of Solomon 14. And. Just the right one. <clears throat> No, it's not right. <clears throat> Hold on, brothers. Four, the water, brother. <laughs> That's crazy. Getting old. All right. Yeah. All right. Embarrassing. It's all good though but see we got to get out of these bodies man you, you lose your damn you know if you get just that quick wisdom of solomon 4 9 so here it is from the good news translation it says wisdom and righteousness are signs of the maturity that should come with old age once there was a man named enoch who pleased the most high and the most high loved him while enoch was still living among sinners the most high took him away so that evil and falsehood could not corrupt his mind and soul. We all know that people can be so fascinated by evil that they cannot recognize what is good, even when they are looking right at it. Innocent people can be so corrupted with desire that they think of nothing but what they want. This man Enoch achieved in a few years time. So like it. This, this man Enoch achieved in a few years time, a perfection that other people could never attain in a complete lifetime the lord was pleased with enoch's life and quickly took him out of his wicked world out of this wicked world people were aware of his departure but didn't understand they never seemed to learn the lesson that the most high is kind and merciful to his own people he protects protects those whom he has chosen Woo he protects those whom he has chosen see and we praying for that same type of deliverance. We praying that we're of the chosen and he protects us. This is dark matter. Yahweh, brother Yashemai, Hebrews 11 and 5. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because the most I had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the most high. But without faith, it is, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You can't diligently seek the Lord while you're breaking every rule in the book. Can't diligently seek the Lord by lip service. Right? Faith without works is dead. This is uh, Jim S. Holland. Proverbs 11 and 4, the righteous is delivered out of trouble and the wicked cometh in his stead. And that's going to happen. The curse is going to be taken off of us and Esau, Edom, they're going to be, man, they're going to get all them curses and more in the kingdom. They're going to be getting beat down, you see. So I want to read finally here in closing, and I may read a couple of different versions of it. Just remember, there's always something greater at work than what we feel and what we see in our immediate presence you know immediately what we dealing with because like i said we are vexed but listen to this that vexation could come you know it could, it could sift you so just be careful this is luke 22 verse 28 it says ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations right this is your shot speaking to the 12 disciples it says ye are they which continue with me in my temptation now the word temptations right here in the Greek. Strong's G 3986 Pyrasmas. 
Pyros Moss. Right. Pyros Moss, an experiment attempt, a trial proving. So temptations don't always mean right here, like this one, definition one, an enticement to sin, temptation. It can also be an experiment, an attempt, a trial, or proving. Trial, proving the trial made of you by my bodily condition, since conditions served as to test the love of the Galatians toward Paul. And the most I use them same temptation to prove us. See if we love them or not. See what we're going to do. Are we going to go against them? Are we going to listen? Right? Temptation, rebellion against the Most High, by which his power and justice are, as it were, put to proof and challenged to show themselves. Here it says adversity, affliction, trouble, sent by the Most High, and serving to test or prove one's character, faith, holiness. So these temptations come to prove you. See that? They come to prove you. See if you love the Lord or not. He sends those. So don't get too messed up when we're going through stuff. Yes, it says here, ye are my, to lock you. ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom. See, the elect going to get the kingdom. So obviously, we were dealing with the 12 disciples right there, but later on which would, would be the elect, right? And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me, right? Heirs and joint heirs that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. What's going on right here? Now, we know what uh, the temptation said, but when you go to this word sift, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. In the Greek, is seniazo. Let's play it. Strong's G, 4617, Seniazo. Seniazo. And it means to sift, shake, and deceive, figurative, by inward agitation, to try one's faith to the verge of overthrow. So this truth can get so heavy, just like with the 12 disciples, Satan was trying to put, you know, bring doubt, and that's a heavy one going on because brothers did lessons on that, right? You got to rebuke that spirit of doubt, that demon of doubt that comes on you. Tell you that and I was listening to Apostle Ryan Blau's video he made the other day about some of the doubts that came, you know, that the, the doubt demon was coming, dealing with, you know, the lightness of an individual or maybe the way you look. People try that shit with me. That shit ain't going to work, man. All them shiny niggas in my family. Come on, man. <laughs> I know I'm a Jake. I ain't worried about it. But some brothers and sisters, that may not, that may be a battle that you have. If you come from a mixed, so-called mixed background, or you may come out extra light and you got blue eyes or green eyes or whatever, freckles, you may be feeling like you ain't no, you know, people may try to make you feel like you ain't no Israelite, but you ain't coming to the truth for no reason. The most high brought you here for a reason. And you receiving this truth. Why? Because we read it earlier. Isaiah 59, verses 20, I believe 2021. 20, this word is for Jacob. It's unmistakable. And it's going to bring Jacob out. It's going to bring the chosen of Jacob to the forefront. So, you know, it's just different kind of things that come along. Some some people are sifting maybe, you know, money, health, different things. But don't, don't lose the faith. Keep fighting no matter what. And while we do get vexed, we know that there's an end, right? Luke twenty two thirty one again, the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. He wants to get on your nerves so bad with different things going on that it shakes you out of the truth. The Lord says, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. There you go. See, so you how shall I pray for his elect? And no, nobody can pluck them out of his father's hand, out of his hand, out of his father's hand. Come on now. Let's try to get this. You know what? Um, yeah. From the NLT, <clears throat> and then we'll shut it down. Luke 22 and verse 28. It says, from the NLT, you have stayed with me in my time of trial. And just as my father has granted me a kingdom, I now grant you the right to eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And you will sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. 
Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift each of you like wheat. So it ain't just Peter. It's all of us. The Lord, uh, Satan wants to try to sift us. He's going to the Lord, accusing us, telling the Lord, see, he don't really believe in you. He only did three videos yesterday. He only did one video yesterday. Don't, don't listen. Don't listen. But I have pleaded in prayer for you, Simon, that your faith should not fail. So when you have repented and turned to me again, strengthen your brothers. All right. So that's what we try to do. We try to strengthen the brothers. These videos, some of them can come across comical. Right. Some of them can come across stern. Sometimes we do have to cuss people out. We have to rebuke. We do all kinds of stuff. But don't hey, take it for what it's worth. The most high is communicating with all of us through these lessons, through these shows, through this word, through this truth. OK, so we're so thankful. And even though we vexed. But so glad Babylon and black culture would die together and we can't wait for it to come. But for now, we just go enjoy the show. Whatever the Lord brings, whatever he, he dropped, hey, whoever wound up dropping dead, it is what it is. Because we know that's going to come. And then they might come and report. I already said this dude is on suicide watch. So he may wind up, you know, kicking the bucket, which they, people probably knock him off to try to protect their name from coming out. But we call your names. All of you wicked. But it is what it is. All right. So that's it. We're going to shut it down, brothers and sisters. The water, everybody, for joining in. All right. Like I said, it was a spur of the moment. It was planned first. Then it was. You know, the plan was abandoned. Then the spur of the moment, the spirit came and said, do it. So this is where we at. All right. So Lord willing, I can work on another video here before I go off the bed. We'll see. All right. The water again, everybody. Hey, shalom to the hope elect out there. All praise to you. How about Shimmy? How was shy? And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. Shalom.